Hey there golfers, I'm Drew Mahold of Second Swing Golf, joined by Thomas Campbell, a master club fitter here at Second Swing Golf in Minnetonka. We're in the tour van today uh, discussing and testing the new TaylorMade Sim 2 Rescue, uh, two models, uh, the standard Sim 2 Rescue and the uh, Sim 2 Max Rescue, uh, new for 2021, uh, two hybrids that are going to be great options for golfers uh, well, in 2021 and beyond. So, uh, Thomas, you know, we got a quick look at these already. Uh, clearly, there's some differences between both of them. Um, so, based on what you've seen, um, what do you think will be the differences between the two models uh, in, these te in this test that we do? Yeah, the Sim 2 Max seems looks like it looks like your more traditional rescue looking down at your hybrid that's got a little mm -hmm. bit more forgiveness to it, a little larger profile. Where the Sim 2 Rescue, one thing I noticed is it's just plain black, which is yeah. very, very clean looking as well. But it's definitely in that modern player's shape. So definitely can appeal to a lot of players that like to look down at maybe irons instead of a larger hybrid there as mm -hmm. well. It's also adjustable. So it still has that adjustable sleeve on the on the on the club where you can adjust the loft up and down up and down by about one and a half degrees. Yep. So you've got adjustable options with the Sim 2 Rescue where the Sim 2 Max yep. is not going to be adjustable. Right. And I mean, I, I would generally say it from just from looking at them um, and the fact that there's adjustability there and a smaller compact shape with the standard Sim 2 Rescue that that would be the one for high speed players. But the, you know, for the previous generation of Sim, the Sim Max Rescue got a lot of play on the tour uh, from their you know tour staff. Dustin Johnson played them, Rory McIlroy played them. So um, I would say that, but I mean, the Sim 2 Max apparently has a lot of versatility, or I would assume based on the previous generation. So I guess we'll see in this test, but I'm excited to see what we find out. Yeah, I'm excited to see, kind of test the two of them, kind of compare the differences. So the Sim 2 Rescue, it comes in a two, a three, and a four. So the two, it's got 17 degrees of loft. You could always turn that thing all the way down to 15 and a half if you okay. wanted to. So it could be almost a replacement for a fairy wood that player doesn't hit a fairy, fairy wood very well. Where the, the Sim 2 uh, Max, it, it offers up to all the way to a 7 hybrid from 3 to 7. So it's got some gapping options there mm -hmm. to help replace irons in player's yeah. bag. So lots of ways to go about gapping and getting these into your bag. Um, of course, that's where we would suggest talking with a fitter, making sure that the clubs in your bag are right for your game, identifying maybe where in your bag you should start putting in a hybrid or rescue clubs to kind of bridge that gap between the irons and the fairy wood in your bag. So um, I think, Thomas, we can get after it here. Um, and of course, one reminder as well, if you enjoy these club reviews, enjoy the content on our channel, we'd love for you to subscribe to our channel uh, and have you know sort of the first access to uh, all of our video content that goes up on our channel. So. Uh, Thomas, I'm ready to watch you hit some shots. Let's do it. All right, so Thomas, you've got both in your hands now, uh, the Sim 2 Rescue and the Sim 2 Max Rescue. Um, I noticed you made a brief, you know, a, a quick little change there. Is that and I maybe do with the standard, like standard loft of the three rescues is 19 and 19 and a half respectively there. So maybe changing that to even it out? Yeah, I just put it one notch down to get it close to 19. So I was comparing the two of them, so it's about the same. Right, um, so that's, keep, the, that's the Sim 2 Rescue, the standard model. Correct. Because that was at 19 and a half, moving that down to 19 to match the Sim 2 Max. Yep, both at 19 degrees. One other thing, too, with these two models is the Sim 2 Max. The standard length on the 3 Hybrid is half an inch longer than the standard length of the 3 Hybrid with mm, the Sim 2 okay. Rescue as well. So it's 40.25 to 40.75. So we've got 3 Hybrids today as we're testing. You definitely could notice the length, just a little bit difference there comparing the two of them. Mm -hmm. Interesting, so. okay. So that'll be kind of interesting to see what, what happens with regards to maybe club speed or anything yeah. like that. So, Sure, well, um, maybe we hit the Sim 2 Max Rescue first, see what the numbers generate, and then we'll get to the Sim 2 Rescue. Sounds good. Very nice. Sign me up right there. That was a good swing. Wide hit that one is solid, but that's yeah. still fine. Maybe yeah. a little spinny. I don't know what you spin what you would expect here, but yeah, that was just slightly off the middle there. A little higher on the spin. All right, so. 
five shots with the Sim 2 Max. Um, what did you notice by you know, looking down at it and the feel, uh, those types of things? Yeah, it was, once again, the forgiveness level on, on these hybrids for me is just so easy to hit. Easy to get the ball up in the air. I think, I was, I think my height was well over 100 feet in the air, which mm -hmm. is important with a, with a hybrid. It might have been pushing 120, it was, yeah. 123 there. Um, easy to draw a little bit there as well, so notice how maybe slightly yeah. left of center with this particular model with those particular shots that I hit. Yep, and then um, you'll notice the curve too, you went uh, left on all of them. So left I mean, you're on drawing every the ball, one. and that's what you like to do as well. Yep, kind of mid 3000s and in, in the, in the spin rate is kind of what I was kind of expect out of this particular hybrid mm -hmm. essentially. It was going pretty far too, it was like 247 carry on average, and this is mm -hmm. the three hybrids, not right. the two, so it's pretty good. Yeah, and yeah. the, so the, the Sim 2 Max Rescue, I mean, so the, the hybrids, I guess the rescues are, are they're built pretty similar to, um, you know, the Fairy Woods. Um, and so they've got, you know, like that C300 face, right? Um, so the, the materials are roughly the same. How did, did it feel kind of similar to the Fairy Woods? Very similar to the Fairy Woods, mm -hmm. yeah. I, I would say, yeah, the same feeling on the misses and also the good strikes as well as when I, we tested the Fairy Woods this morning as well. Right. So, yeah. Very, very similar feel, mm -hmm. looking down at, same kind of transition and colors as well. So you got the kind of the white yeah. to, the, to, the, to the dark. Now we're going to notice with this next club we're going to hit, right. don't have any of those colors kind of going mm -hmm. on on top of the crown. It's yeah. just kind of black to look down at. Right. The Sim so. 2 Rescue is just black, which is kind of, I, I feel like that kind of marks the transition, like from, okay, we're now we're done with sort of the metal woods, right? Now this is yep. kind of getting us down to the irons, because like, it does have a little bit of the vibe of like the utilities, right? Like the Sim DHY and Sim UDI um, utility irons from TaylorMade. So um, I think that's where they're sort of marking that transition is with the all black club head there. Um, but, you know, we should also mention the V-Steel design also on these as well. Again, it's kind of the similarities between the fairy woods. Yep. And that's where turf interaction is huge on clubs like these where you're trying to knock the ball out of the rough uh, or something like that and keep it back in play. Uh, so that's where that technology is really important. Of course, we can't really get a feedback on that in here, but um, that's another element to think about as well. But now I think we can maybe try the Sim 2 Rescue, see how that compares. Yeah, let's hit the Sim 2 Rescue. Definitely looks a little sleeker, more modern players mm -hmm. kind of club to look at down it. All right, five shots with the Sim 2 Rescue. Um, we'll bring up some of the numbers back here, but I did want to get your impression on the, the look of that compared. I mean, we've talked about it already, right? You kind of got that color contrast, like the white stripe on the leading edge with the Sim 2 Max Rescue. Um, but did you notice a, a difference in maybe the feel or the sound? Yeah, definitely more muted off the club face sound-wise. Just, just felt fairly, well, not so much soft, but it just, didn't mm -hmm. sound like it wasn't very loud off yeah. the club face. Um, felt solid off the face, but just wasn't quite as loud. Mm -hmm. You talk about look a little as well. Um, but it's definitely for those players that like to look down at more of an iron than a fairy wood too. Mm -hmm. So sure, it's kind of that in between. You know, you got utility irons as an option there as well. It's kind of like the in between transition between an iron and a driver essentially. Yeah. So it could yeah. be. I mentioned you've got the. Uh, the two that you could always play a little right. less loft and really if someone really doesn't mm -hmm. like fairy woods right you could definitely you like irons this is a good option there yeah. as well you could grab the so. sim 2 2 rescue uh <laughs> and you could use that as sort of a fairy wood uh, but you know one thing we should talk about too is the club face on the sim 2 rescue the one you just hit is forged uh so maybe that's potentially part of the the sound and feel difference from the sim 2 max rescue where you could maybe notice a bit louder um, yeah. more like a fairy wood would be rather than this having the forged feel is a little bit more like utility iron or even uh, an iron. So, uh, but we can briefly look at these numbers here, but I mean, the two circles are very similar here. Um, and we talked about there was their, your last shot with the Sim 2 Rescue had a kind of high spin, which brought it up. Yep. But the rest of them were kind of down in that low 3000s range, I believe. It was until that last shot, you could definitely notice that yeah. the highest spin was like 3600. 
I think the average spin with the Sim 2 Max Rescue, if you it's scroll down, 36. was 3,600. So that last one was a little bit healy, a little bit, a little bit spinny uh, there yeah. as well. But you can notice kind of general trends with regards to kind of distance about the same. They've got mm -hmm. about 19 degrees of loft yep. on them. So, uh, well, we changed yeah. this one to 19 it's degrees. It's just about how it gets there, right? It's how it you gets got there. The height's yep. different, right? Um, yep. And then you talk about like launch angle and landing angle and those are all a little different. But so yeah. I think with those numbers being different, uh, I'll have you sort of break them down a little bit more for us uh, and we can kind of get a further, you know, a more in-depth review of these two clubs. Let's do it. Okay, Drew, uh, I hit 10 shots, hit five shots with each hybrid. Uh, so one thing I touched on right before I hit these shots is the length difference in the standard length with the three hybrids. I mentioned the Sim 2 Max has got half an inch mm -hmm. longer in length. Kind of interesting that the club speed was about 0.7 miles an hour faster than the yeah. Sim 2 Rescue. I also hit the Sim 2 Rescue afterwards as well, so it wasn't so much the fact that I was warming up, it was just the fact that yeah. that golf shaft is longer. Right. Longer golf shaft's gonna again generate just a little bit more club speed overall. Mm -hmm. and that's just why ball speed just just a little bit faster as well. You know, we're talking pretty similar numbers if you were gonna work on your smash factor equation right. with these two there. So pretty pretty similar, but you just notice that longer golf shaft generate just a little bit more club speed. Mm -hmm. uh, interesting that the Sim 2 Rescue launched a little bit over a degree less in height, so the launch angle is a little lower. The height was about 15, 16 feet lower as well, and the landing angle was about four degrees lower. So the Sim 2 Rescue, the one looks a little bit more like an iron, it's yeah. gonna be harder to get the ball kind of up in, up in the air. So if you're looking for something off the tee, good option where if you don't have enough club speed, the Sim 2 Max Rescue is always gonna be a good option because it's gonna fly a little bit higher the way the center of gravity is on the club. It's gonna have a steeper landing angle, it's gonna have a little more spin, a little higher launch angle, and it's gonna give you faster stopping power mm -hmm. essentially. So you can kind of see the differences in carry to total difference just yep. kind of just subtle differences right yep. off the bat there we're talking 14 yard difference between the sim 2 max rescue between carry and total where we have about 18 yard difference between carry and total with the rescue right and i think so that's you know that's about understanding what type of player you are and then that'll kind of help you figure out if you're looking for a sim 2 hybrid or a sim 2 rescue which of these miles is right for you right if you're a high high speed player um, that you know you want to keep the ball a little bit lower, more controlled flight. Don't want to get it up maybe maybe into the wind necessarily. That's where the standard model is probably the better play. And then the Sim uh, the Sim Two Max Rescue, probably for somebody that does want that higher launch, um, really wants to land it. Make sure they land it softly on the green. Um, and of course, also for the golfers that are looking for a bit more forgiveness, I think that's also packed into the Sim 2 Max. Yeah. So you also touched a little bit on the, on the spin rate once I was done hitting the shots. Yeah. There was the one miss hit here with the, with the Sim 2 Rescue that spun at like 4,000. Yeah. But you'll notice the general trend was the other four shots were significantly less in spin versus the Sim 2 Max Rescue or the Sim 2 Max Rescue. The lowest spin we got was like 3,100. Yeah. The lowest spin I got was 27, 2800 with mm -hmm. the Sim 2 Max Rescue there as well. So we noticed about 200 RPM difference. If you were to take out that one that was kind of a little bit more of an outlier, you can kind of and maybe take that one as kind of your, as your outlier out. We're talking 300, 350 mm -hmm. RPM kind of differences in, in spin between the two of them there across the board there. So yeah. A little bit more spin with the Sim 2 Max Rescue. The Sim 2 Rescue is going to spin just a little bit less. Yep. yep. Yeah, that's the general trend, and I think that's kind of what we expected from this test, and that's sort of what I think TaylorMade's going for as well in building that you want the two to have distinct differences and different playability um, for, to kind of target different golfers and what their needs are. And it, I think it is also possible you could put one of each of these in your bag too, depending on what you're trying to get out of your set of clubs. So. Uh, important to talk to a fitter at Second Swing, identify what you're looking for in your game, which of these models is right for you, and kind of bridging that gap from iron to fairy wood. And finally, dispersion is always important with a hybrid. We want to make sure, especially if you're hitting into a green, you want to make sure you right. hit the green, you're not going to miss it as kind of a certain direction. So we can just see just a little bit of a trend here. You can see how the Sim 2 Rescue, the yellow circle, pushing a little bit further to the right. 
where the Sim 2 Max Rescue, just pushing just a little bit further to the left there as well. I had one white dot right of center with the Sim 2 Max Rescue, where I had three dots right mm -hmm. of center with the Sim 2 Rescue there as well. So, so yeah, maybe a little bit to do with the, the loft changing that notch mm -hmm. on, on it down by kind of a, no a notch there to try and get it down to match up at 19 degrees. Um, but if you were going to even lower that notch down to talk about having that two, the Sim 2-2 two two yeah. down one and a half degrees, so putting that thing down to, would it it'd be playing right around about 15 and a half degrees yeah. aloft? That would be a more anti-left club. So if someone's looking for that, you could definitely okay. mm -hmm. adjust that. But also you've got the adjustability where with that hosel set, and you can make it play a little more upright as well, which is definitely mm -hmm. some options where you've got adjustability there too. Yeah, so. yeah, so I mean, I think Moral of the story, Sim 2 Max is kind of the most forgiveness and sort of high launch, right? That's kind of the, the club for you. And then if you're looking for adjustability, you know, workability, kind of a lower launch and, and lower ball flight, that's where the standard Sim 2 Rescue is probably the club. Um, but there is, you know, there's enough of a, a difference in terms of the looks and feel as well that, uh, again, these are going to target, they're going to be, they're very different clubs, but even with that said, the performance in terms of the, the, the yards and you know, dispersion, they're both out there. They're both out there and they're both gonna be very effective clubs at that part of the bag.